my name is Stephen Fitzgerald. I'm a metal artist. I live north of San Francisco, and uh, I have a one-man show at Risk Press Gallery in Sebastopol, California. I'm actually at the end of my December, it was my month here, I'm at the end of it, um, 2011, and I just thought I would uh, do some vignettes of my pieces and introduce the public to my um, sculpture. This is number four in a series. Um, I wanted to introduce you to this piece. This is called The Seer. Um, I do a lot of, uh, a lot of my pieces use recycled materials, and these are fencing swords. These are professional uh, uh, foils, epes, and sabers that were uh, bent or broken. I had a friend that um, worked at a supply of, this, of these two um, professional fencers, and he brought me a, a bunch of damaged ones and knew that I would make something uh, at least unique out of it one day. Um, if you see the close-up on here, you'll see spiral tattoos on the face. Um, I've engineered this process of, of uh, using um, body molds to, as a guide to go with, and then using scrap material, these are punch parts, to place inside the molds to, to make life-size figurative pieces. This was one of my students, uh, I, I used to work in the art department at UC Berkeley from 1987 to 93 and did a fair amount of teaching there in my capacity as a sculpture technician. This was a staff position, not a professor, but at Berkeley the staff, at least in those days, had a, a fair amount of responsibility for teaching. Anyway, um, this was a young Native American man and um, I had a mold of his face and shoulders and I used that and, and the piece, the, the name, the seer, the long name for it is the Bow Watch for Humanity and what I was trying to make a statement about is, um, in my personal opinion, we as a species are, are off track and we need to get back on track and the way in which we will do that hopefully is a, being led in some, by some spiritual leader. Um, my statement with this figure is this could be a Maori tribesman of 400 years ago, you know, with this incredible headdress, or it could be a kid from the inner city Chicago, from a slum or something, but whoever it is, this is the person that's going to lead us back on track. That's why I say the long, the long title is the bow watch for humanity. I'm taking a metaphor from sailing where you always put the person with the best eyesight on the bow of the ship or the sailboat. So, to guide your way in case there's obstructions in the water or whatever. They're always the ones that are the point man. Well, this is the point man for the spirituality and returning us back to um, where we should be. Um, it's interesting to note there's a new burgeoning style called steampunk. And uh, many of my pieces uh, at least obliquely relate to that particular style, and this one is probably the one that's the most appreciated by the um, kids that are in, involved in, in steampunk these days. I, I'm fascinated by the style, and I actually will start to build some pieces that are directly fit the, the category of steampunk, but there are some of, of my other pieces that are I've been calling industrial organic, for years, and it seems to meet with the uh, steampunk style. So, there you have it.